Last unit, we created a single web page. And in that web page, we had two items, an HTML file that we called index.html. Remember, that's sort of a magic name. We need to have that name as one of our files as our home page. We also had an image. The name of that didn't really matter. We happened to use one called web.gif, but the name doesn't really matter. In this unit, instead of having those files just sitting on our desktop, we will organize things a little better. We're going to get those files and we're going to place those in a folder. That folder will become our site. This site will hold every file that our site has. And so if you have files that are outside of this folder, they will not work with Dreamweaver. They will not work when we eventually get to uploading a site to the web. So every single file must go into that site folder. And that folder we will call our local root folder. The reason for it being local is at some point in the next unit, we'll be getting this local root folder and make a copy of it up on the internet. And from there, you'll be able to have a website that anybody could view from around the world. For now, it's still going to be working with just that local folder on our desktop. What we will do is get more images and place them inside that folder. We might also get other HTML files. And this becomes a bit cluttered. It becomes hard to keep track of where everything is. So to keep things organized, we can go ahead, create another folder and call it images, move our images over to that folder. But this is important. That folder must still be in our site folder, must be in our local root folder. If it's in a separate folder, if it's not within our site folder, that's going to create problems. The other thing that's important here is while we may have many HTML files and some of those could be in folders, that index.html, that first file that we create, our home page, must be at the top level of this site folder, of this local root folder. By that, I don't mean it needs to be alphabetically at the top. It needs to just not be in any subfolder, just be on that top level of the local root folder. Once we have all of that, we can go ahead and get Dreamweaver using Dreamweaver, and we'll talk about how to do this. We'll point Dreamweaver to that local root folder, and we'll do a process called defining a site. This means that Dreamweaver will know what folder in our computer is being used in order to have our site. And then it will best be able to work with it, check for links, go ahead, help us build links, help us build our full site, and eventually even upload that to the internet. To recap, for a Dreamweaver site, we need a few things. One, we need a local root folder. Every single file must be in this local root folder. If we want it as part of our site, it must be there. We must have a reasonable organization. In general, we would have a folder called images, which is where all of our images would go. We might also have other folders, but one file that cannot be in any other folder other than the local root folder at the top level is that index.html. It must be at the very top level, again, not alphabetically, just not in any subfolder. As we're doing that, we also need to point Dreamweaver to that folder, to the local root folder, and go through a process which is called creating a site definition. It pretty much defines for Dreamweaver, this folder is our site, this is what we'll be working with, and it allows Dreamweaver to do some magic, if you will, to keep everything together and to make sure that everything works correctly for our site. We'll be doing that in the other videos for this unit.